Good morning. Good morning. I'm Puan Noshida Hussein, and this is my colleague, Nate Masliza Nate Muhammad. Um, she will just listen to us. Now, what's your name? My name is Manish Ragunata. Thank you. And what's your name? My name is Ria Camilia. Thank you. Where do you live, Manish? I live in Prison 8, Putrajaya. And you, Ria? I live in Cyberjaya. Do you enjoy studying English, Manish? Yes, I enjoy studying English. It's one of my favourite subjects. Thank you. Do you like learning English, Ria? Yes, because I grew up speaking it and I think it's a very fun language to express ourselves in. Thank you. Manish, what do you usually do after school? After school, on most days, I would go back home, maybe watch TV or study. And if I have tuition, I'd go for tuition. But on Fridays, I have to stay back a bit longer and do my duties as a librarian. Thank you. Um, what about you? What do you usually eat in the school canteen, Ria? I usually eat rice with the, with the sauce that's provided with the canteen. Okay. Manish, tell me about your favourite teacher. My favourite teacher? Uh, my favourite teacher would probably be Madame Azliza because she's one of the first teachers I met when I went into the school and she teaches one of my favourite subjects, maths. Thank you. Ria, do you like listening to music? Yes, because it makes me peaceful and very easy to control myself. Thank you. In this part of the test, I'm going to give each of you five pictures which tell a story. I'd like you to talk about them on your own for about a minute. You also need to answer a question briefly about your partner's pictures. Manish, it's your turn first. Here are your pictures. You now have some time to look at the pictures. Okay, are you ready, Manish? Yes. Now tell us the story in the pictures. Okay, so in these pictures, it tells the story of Diana. It's 9th March and her mother's birthday will be tomorrow. So she's planned a surprise party with one of her mother's best friends for today when her mom gets back from work. While her mom's friend goes and buys decorations, Diana goes to Susie's gift shop, which is in the town, and decides to buy her mother a watch among of the many gifts that they sell. After that, Diana goes to Zati's bakery and buys one of her mom's favorite desserts, Zati's world famous black forest cake. She quickly rushes home to let her mom, her mom's friend Linda into the house and they start decorating with the help of her younger sister. As her mom, as Diana's mom rolls up on the driveway, they all hide behind the dining table with the lights off. Waiting a few minutes, as Diana's mother enters the house and walks into the dining room, surprised by the lack of people, as her daughters are normally home at this time. She receives a pleasant surprise as her daughters and her one of her oldest friends jumps out from behind the dining table, shouting, surprise. Thank you. Ria, how would you like to celebrate your birthday? I would like to have a subtle birthday party with my close friends and family. Thank you. Can I have the booklet, please? Yes. Now, Ria, here are your pictures. You now have some time to look at the pictures. Okay, are you ready, Ria? Yes. Now tell us the story in the pictures. Harris has been saving up for weeks to buy his new pair of shoes as his old pair has been worn out. He was so excited to buy these shoes that as soon as the mall opened, he rushed to the mall. Later that day, he went back home and counted the amount of money that he had collected and unfortunately realized that he was 10, 10 ringgit short. 
Instead of giving up, he then searched around his house for reusable things such as bottles and newspapers. Not only did he search around his house, he searched around his neighborhood and asked his fellow neighbors if they had any things they wanted to give away. In hopes of buying his new shoes, he went to the recycling center to exchange the items with money. In excitement, he headed to the store before it closed and then bought his shoe immediately. Thank you. Manish. Yes. Do you usually save up your money to buy something that you like? Yes, yes. If I have any spare money at the end of the day, it goes straight into my savings box. Thank you. Can I have the booklet, please? Now, I'd like you to talk about something together for about two minutes. I'm going to describe the situation to you. I'd like you to imagine your school is organising a camping trip in the jungle and you need to think about what to take with you. Here are some things you could take with you. First, you have some time to look at the task. Now, talk together about the different things you can take on the camping trip and say which one would be the most important. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Please start. In my opinion, students should bring snacks and sweets on a camping trip as we all know that students are always eating and have something to feed on. And it was also a necessity as it gives us energy to do activities. Yeah, I agree. And as well as a torch is also a really useful tool that you should bring on a camping trip because especially in the night when there are no lights in the wilderness and such, it can be helpful if you want to go to the outhouse or if you're mm. searching for something in your tent and such. Do you think an umbrella is necessary? I probably would say that an umbrella isn't as necessary as some of the other things because if you brought something like a windbreaker, it would be much more useful than an umbrella. Um, in addition, I think magazines and books would be a fun thing to bring along on this trip. I agree. Sometimes if, on say, on the way or on the way back from the trip, you could be use the magazines and books to pass the time on the bus or the transport. Yes. Um, I think we both can agree that snacks and sweets is one of the most important things to bring on this trip. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. That is the end of the test. Can I have the booklet, please? Yeah.